The boy standing by the crematory is an iconic photograph that was taken in Nagasaki, Japan, in September 1945, shortly after the city was hit by an atomic bomb on August 9. The photograph, taken by Joseph O'Donnell, a photojournalist who worked for the United States Marine Corps, captures the heartbreaking image of a 10-year-old Japanese boy carrying his deceased baby brother on his back as he waits his turn at the crematorium. In the photograph, the boy can be seen standing at attention, wearing no shoes and with a hard expression on his face. He holds the lifeless body of his brother on his back, with the little head tilted back as if the baby were asleep. The boy stood there for five to ten minutes, watching as the men in white masks quietly removed the rope that was holding the baby. The men then held the body by the hands and feet and placed it on the cremation pyre. The boy remained standing, straight and still, watching the flames as they consumed the body of his baby brother. His lower lip was bitten so hard that it shone with blood. Finally, when the flames burned low like the sun going down, the boy turned around and walked silently away. Joseph O'Donnell was a photojournalist who captured in photographs the early aftermath of the atomic bomb blasts in Nagasaki and Hiroshima, Japan, in 1945 and 1946. He was born in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, in 1922, and one of his masterpieces is the famous The Boy Standing by the Crematory. However, after his death, there was a debate about his claim to other photos that were actually the work of other photographers. For example, he claimed ownership of a photograph taken in Tehran, Iran, in 1943 of Churchill, Stalin, and other wartime leaders, but he was not known to have been in Tehran at the time. Despite the controversy surrounding O'Donnell, his iconic photograph of the boy standing by the crematory is an important historical document that captures the tragedy and devastation of the atomic bombings in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. It is a poignant reminder of the human cost of war and the suffering that innocent civilians must endure. Yashitoshi Fukuhori, who had been near the bombing and was still traumatized by the events, began a lifelong endeavor in 1979 to collect images in the early aftermath. Fukuhori launched an investigation into the boy's identity after seeing the photos. He eventually failed, but Masanori Muraoka took interest in the photograph. Muraoka, who thought he recognized the boy as a boyhood playmate, despite forgetting or never knowing the boy's name, conducted his own inquiry to ascertain the identity of the boy. Muraoka discovered a few minor probable hints, but he too failed, despite keeping a detailed record of his efforts. The boy in the photograph remains unidentified to this day, but his image has become an iconic symbol of the human suffering that occurred as a result of the atomic bombings in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. The photograph serves as a powerful reminder of the need to prevent the use of nuclear weapons and to work towards a world free of violence and conflict. The boy standing by the crematory is an iconic photograph that captures the heartbreaking image of a 10-year-old Japanese boy carrying his deceased baby brother on his back as he waits his turn at the crematorium. It is a poignant reminder of the human cost of war and the suffering that innocent civilians must endure. Despite the controversy surrounding the photographer, the image remains an important historical document that serves as a powerful reminder of the need to prevent the use of nuclear weapons and to work towards a world free of violence and conflict.